The Joe and Lori Dine Award for Best International Reporting in Any Medium Dealing with Human Rights. It's sponsored by Philip Dine. And it goes to Samuel Black, uh, Angela Kamat, and the Faultline staff of Al Jazeera America. This film is another stunning example of what good journalism can do to expose labor abuses. The team traveled to India and the Middle East and uncovered irrefutable evidence about the exploitation of contract workers on US military bases in Afghanistan. The citation, Rahad Desai, Cynthia Kane, and Al Jazeera America prevents, presents staff for Al Jazeera America presents Miners Shot Down. Thank you so much for this award. It's a huge honor. I'm here on behalf of a wonderful and dedicated team that's behind this piece of journalism. Producer Sam Black, director of photography Rick Rowley, um, and our executive producer Matt Skeen, who's over in table 26, um, all of whom are here with me today, and also associate producer Nafisa Sayed and editor Warwick Mead, who are overseas. A special thanks to everyone who helped us on the ground in Afghanistan, India, and the United Arab Emirates. We made this film to highlight one of the many forgotten costs of America's wars in the Middle East and the toll it's taken on people we rarely think about in relation to these wars. Over half a million migrant workers, primarily from India, Nepal, and the Philippines, have labored for the US military in Iraq and Afghanistan, doing support work like cooking and cleaning. Privatizing these wars have made the companies that hired these workers billions of dollars on government contracts but the workers themselves made very little. The convoluted supply chains of contemporary capitalism allowed contractors and subcontractors to maximize their profits, which is another way of saying that American tax dollars have paid for workers getting trafficked onto US bases. When we started working on the story, we didn't have very many leads, but Sam and Nafisa spent many, many months reaching out to hundreds of people who'd worked in US military contracts in Afghanistan in the hope that at least a few of them might respond. Finding those brave enough to speak with us wasn't easy. And telling a complicated story like this would not have been possible without the patient support of Matt Skeen, who gave us the time we needed to research and report this film from three different countries. We'd like to dedicate this award to all of the South Asian men who spoke to us at great personal risk. Thank you for recognizing their struggles. Thank you. 